Hey, this is Carlos Garcia with N. Garcia Properties. Thanks for coming to our real estate blog. We are the top team in the region for Keller Williams. We work in the top office for transaction count in Washington, D.C. We sell in D.C., Maryland, and Virginia, and we work for the number one brand in the country based on agent count. Just announced this year, that's Keller Williams. We're here to talk about how the market looks now compared to its past peak. One thing that I've been obsessed with, let me change gears, is the stock market, something I know very, very little about. Have you noticed all the articles talking about how daily we are going above and below our 2000, I think, seven uh, peaks in the stock market? Well, interestingly enough, I wanna talk about how returning to peak pricing on, in the, on the real estate side, which we're seeing, in a way has an attraction to it that is different from 2007, just as I feel is happening in the stock, stock market. So let me quickly say, I know nothing about stocks, but I find it very interesting that on the stock market side, basically, the market as a whole is valued at about where it was when it peaked in 07. But what I'm reading from experts is that these companies have more cash and are more profitable than they were then, effectively the same price for a better product. Well, similarly, on the real estate side, I'm really, really feeling quite optimistic for sellers because they can get back to peak pricing as they offer their home for sale. And very interestingly for buyers, and this should be important for sellers too, that they're able to, to offer something to the market that, that has a really good chance of moving, even though it's returning to peak pricing, it's that you can get housing stock these days for less money effectively due to where rates are. Because if I'm not mistaken, when uh, pricing peaked, and actually I promised to, to study this with some data for one of my upcoming real estate blogs to actually compare where rates were then to now, I know that they were higher. Exactly how much I should go look at that, look at the differential and explain what that means to you in dollars in your monthly payment. And very importantly for sellers, this means you're able to return to the market with something get peak pricing, but offer effectively a better deal, at least for now, to sellers due to where interest rates are. Where interest rates are right now, you are getting on a 30-year fixed rate, if you have decent credit and you're able to get something around 4%, you are paying, within your payment, almost 30%, 33, 30% of your payment goes to principal to paying down your loan. That is really huge. When I bought my first house, it was, it was between 5 and 8% within each payment was going towards principal. Right now, about a third of it is where today's prevailing rates are. So what, what does that mean? That means even if you're buying a house at, at, at former peak pricing, it's come right back to it, you're getting a much better deal. So here, here's my promise to you. I'll work on quantifying that for you. That'll be an upcoming real estate blog. Perhaps we'll have some, we'll run some numbers so you can see in black and white terms precisely what this means, but you get the concept. It's, uh, we're back to peak pricing or getting there depending on your community and it's actually a better deal. This is good news for both buyers and sellers and is the sort of thing that we want to see in a balanced market. Again, I'm Carlos Garcia at N. Garcia Properties, Washington, D.C.'s number one Keller Williams team. We sell in D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. Please uh, give us a call. We're at 202-290-1313. 290-1313. Thanks.